In a historic moment, former President Donald Trump faced a judge for the first time today charged with 34 felony counts. Mr. Trump has repeatedly denied the accusation and is calling the hush money investigation a personal and political witch hunt. Welcome back. I'm Carla Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. The former president's appearance at his arraignment in Manhattan drew big crowds for and against him, with some lawmakers joining in the chants. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan is here now with what happened inside and outside of the courtroom. Jesse? Uh, Carla Marcella, former President Trump is back in Florida tonight after the historic arraignment in New York City. People gathered on the streets of lower Manhattan, some with blowhorns and signs either in support or against him. Meantime, inside the courtroom, we learned more about the charges he's now facing. Former President Donald Trump was in lower Manhattan today going into court backed by the sounds of supporters and anti-Trump crowds cheering outside. Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts related to falsifying business records stemming from hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels in 2016. He's frustrated, he's upset, but I'll tell you what, he's motivated. Today, the judge told Trump to not make posts on social media that could spark unrest after previous messages critical of the prosecutor. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, who is overseeing the case, spoke after the hearing. The defendant repeatedly made false statements on New York business records. These are felony crimes in New York State, no matter who you are. Georgia Congresswoman and Trump ally Marjorie Taylor Greene joined the crowds outside court, calling the indictment an injustice. And anti-Trump demonstrators say justice has been a long time coming. It's really satisfying as a New Yorker to see him finally see the inside of a courtroom and face a judge like every other criminal. Now, back in Mar-a-Lago tonight, Trump spoke to a crowd of supporters. And I never thought anything like this could happen in America. Never thought it could happen. The only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. In his speech tonight at Mar-a-Lago, Trump also took aim at Manhattan DA Bragg. President Biden, quote, raging crime statistics and other investigations linked to him, like the election-related one in Atlanta. Trump's lawyers say they'll fight the prosecution in this case in court.